Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's Python series video, I am going to talk more about the modules in Python and the pip. So essentially in the previous video, if you have watched my tutorial 4, where we have already talked what are modules in Python, what are built-in modules, what are external modules, what is pip used for, and we have also we have actually seen its implementation in the command line interface, right? So now I am going to do the same implementation in the PyCharm and I'm going to tell you little more in-depth concepts concepts using PyCharm. So without any further ado, let's quickly jump on to the PyCharm and let me simply open PyCharm. Now you can see that the PyCharm is actually loading and as you already know, right, what I have done here is let me simply delete this module.py. So you already know that, uh, you know, what we have done is Python project 01 was the project created by us in our previous videos, right? In the previous video, we have already created this Python project one. We have created this main.py. We have created this test.py. So I will be keeping everything same throughout. So let me simply go ahead, click on this Python project, new Python file. And just because I'm telling you, explaining you about modules, so let me click on modules. Let me write modules.py over here. So the moment I do that, you can actually see what PyCharm does is it creates a new module.py file, right? Now we have already discussed about built-in modules and we know that math is a built-in module, right? So if I say import math over here, right? And if I simply, uh, you know, select that I want to run my current file, the current file which I am in. And if I, you know, simply run this right now, now guys, you can actually see that the moment I ran it, it did not give me any error actually. If you see, it did not give me any error. Why it did not give me any error? Because it is an inbuilt module, right? It is an inbuilt module and we can, we are just importing the inbuilt module. That module is already there, right? Now let me just do some work. Let me use, you know, let's say square root function dot sqrt right and you can also see that it has given me auto intelligence so this is the benefit of using pycharm or any ide tool that it gives you a lot of uh, you know intelligence even if you write something wrong it is going to tell you that okay this is the error at this point you are getting this error right so if i say square root so let me just put in a uh, square root of let's say 36 and now let me simply run that now, the moment I run this, run this, you will actually see the square root of 36 is 6. It has given me the correct uh, output. Why this has happened? Just because it is an inbuilt module, right? Now, let's say I say, let me just comment this thing out. So, to comment it out, you have to uh, basically do control and the forward slash. So, the moment you press control and forward slash, sash on your system you can actually comment multiple lines together we are going to talk about all this later on as well so now let me simply say import pandas right now let me say import pandas now the moment i wrote import pandas what happened over here is you can actually see that it has given red lines right so it is actually already telling you that this module uh, is not available this is not an inbuilt module Right. So it is already telling you that this is not, uh, you know, an inbuilt module just because of this red line. You can actually guess that, you know, this is an issue. So also, you know, if you click on this red symbol, right, the moment you click on this red symbol, which is available, you can actually see that it gives you a lot of option. Right. It will also ask you, you know, install package pandas, right. Rename reference, like whether you want to change it from pandas to something else, which is available right so all these things ignore errors like this of course you don't want to ignore errors like this so if i run this you will actually see that you land into an error and it says module not found no module named as pandas so in the command line interface we have already seen that how we can import external modules in pycharm you can actually see at the bottom there is an option of terminal right you can directly go to the terminal and similarly you can use python installed manager uh, you know, a package installed manager of uh, Python, which is pip, you can simply say pip install pandas, right? This is what you can do. And the same thing, we actually did it in the command line interface as well. And the same thing we are doing it here, just that you can actually see that you have a terminal here. You already know through this error, you know, what exactly uh, does it mean? And now just 
let me write pip install pandas and hit enter so the moment i hit enter you can actually see that it has started installing pandas right what it is trying to do it is installing collected package it is you know it is giving you all the information right now that how it is uh, doing it how it is installing all the details right so we'll just wait for some time for this to get installed so now guys you can see that it says successfully installed pandas 1.5.3 so this is what it has installed now if i go back to my uh, you know the code where i have written import pandas now there is no more red line over here now if i run it right it is not going to give me any error right so it has actually installed pandas so this is what uh, you know um, uh, you know this is how you can actually install external modules and in fact i can i also told you that you can import pandas the name you can you know do an alias you can rename the module as pd so you can rename the module to anything pandas usually we denote by pd so we i have written import pandas as pd now uh, do not worry much about the code part so right now i am just creating some value i'm just writing in some values 1 3 4 5 8 right this is nothing but this is just a list right don't worry about any list what exactly is a list right now but i'm just giving you a piece of code where i'm just typing in you know uh, one or two very simple lines of code right so i am using pd dot now if you see over here the moment i i said pd dot pd is pandas right from pandas module it is all already giving you auto intelligence right what are the different functions available it is already giving you uh, auto intelligence for that so now let me click on series so pandas dot series and now let me give in the input the value which is a over here uh, don't worry much about uh, you know the code part right now so i have just written few lines of code which are actually using pandas right now if i run it i will not get any error i'll simply get the output right so pandas dot series is just a function inside pandas which is actually very helpful you know it makes everything in a columnar format in a series of columnar data so you can actually see that you actually got uh, you know everything in a series of you know columnar format basically one three four five uh, and eight got converted into a columnar format you know it converted the whole series in a columnar format so this is how you can actually use external modules very well in python right now similarly just to give another example if i write import logger over here so logger is another right logger is another module which is an external module which is used for logging purposes so right now again you can see that it is giving me red symbol over here red line so if i run it it is actually going to give me error and now in fact let me just comment the previous lines using control forward slash right now if i again run all of it so you can actually see that it says no module named as logger but now if i go to terminal and if i say pip install logger right and if i click on enter you can actually see that it has successfully installed logger and now this logger part does not give me any error if i simply run import logger over here it runs completely fine right so this is how you can actually uh, you know use external modules in the uh, you know pycharm as well also to give you a little more detail okay when you are doing this import logger what does it essentially mean so the logger is all already downloaded okay the once you do on the terminal you go ahead and you install uh, you download right you download and install this logger module what happens is logger is there but once you import it it becomes available in the current scope now when i say current scope what is the current scope so now for example to check the current scope what you can do is you can simply say import sys and then you can type in let's say print sys dot path so the moment i do it and i simply run it now you will actually see that it has given me a path right so this path is nothing but the scope scope where it will start looking for this logger library for this pandas library for this math library right for this pandas 
uh, math and the series module it will start looking for all these modules in the in this path so first path is this which is nothing but the python project 01 so it will first look for this particular library in python project 01 then it will go and look in this particular uh, you know location and then it will go ahead and look in this location then it will go ahead and look look, uh, look in this particular location so this is nothing but this is the scope i am going to make a video on the scope as well but this is what import sys does what does import sys do what does import module name do it brings your uh, the module which you have downloaded if it is an external module or the module which is already inbuilt it will bring it in the current scope and how you can check that scope you can check that scope using system.path using sys.path now sys is again a module which is inbuilt in python so this thing you need to uh, you know know very well because for example uh, if you are saying let's say import logger right and if i create uh, you know another file with the same name as logger right then in that case it can become an issue because you are using a module and you have renamed a python program as well with the same uh, you know name in the same path so it sometimes becomes a big issue so we never recommend that so this is pretty and in fact even if you did not understand this part it is completely fine because as we proceed forward this is just the fifth video i just wanted to cover as many concepts as i can in a video in a simple manner so even if you did not understand anything it's completely fine as we proceed you are going to see all these things we will be using and at every step i will be explaining you all these details so no worries on that part right so thank you so much for being till here i you know i think you liked these videos and do support me you know and do let me know in the comment sections if you have any issues and thank you so much for being till here